guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to just sit down and film a video just i don't know where i'm taking this look but i just felt like putting makeup on my face i haven't been feeling the best lately so i decided that maybe putting makeup on my face will help me feel a little better but so i have my makeup set out right in front of me i'll be using some new products some products that i picked up recently but other than that i have like my holy grails out in front of me so if you guys want to see the look that i create today then please keep on watching so I'm just gonna put on my cat ears. You guys know this is this is a must because my hair gets in my face like this on tomorrow. And I'm just gonna moisturize. You guys know this moisturizer. You guys have seen this moisturizer so many times on my channel. I don't even know. I, I don't even need to tell you guys what it is anymore because you guys can guess it. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Just make sure everything is covered. Everything is nice and moisturized. And I'm just gonna prime. So I'm gonna just take my No Pore Blum Prime Essence. This one that I got in my boxy charm. I have been liking it. Um, I feel like it does fill in my pores really well and I've just been reaching for this more than like my cover FX primer. I like how it's really runny and it's not silicone-y. It's different from all the other primers. I'm just gonna put that all over my face but mainly focusing in my T-zone especially because I get a lot of large pores over there. Now that is done. I'm going to just go in into MDK I should have prime potion. I don't even need to tell you guys this. I want to look for new eyeshadow primers because I feel like I like priming my eyelids enough to invest in another one and see if it works just as well or even better. I mean, I don't think it will get better than this, but I'm just curious to see if there's any more out on the market. I know Fenty has one, but I want to look for one at the drugstore. I think NYX has one, but I'm going to just look into it because I'm so curious. So now that that is primed, I'm just going to take my Sephora Collections Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer actually before that um so we're just gonna put that to the side i have been filling in my brows and i don't know how i feel about it i'm just still testing it out seeing if i like it seeing if you know i don't like it so i'm just gonna take the ulta beauty brow pomade in the shade dark brown just get my angled brush i find that using a smaller angled brush like this one here is better than using a bigger one because you know you get to work more precisely with the product so i'm just going to take that and just start filling in my brows i don't want to do it too much and then it doesn't look the way i want it to so i'm just going to slowly but surely get this shape done Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I'm just gonna fix this one a little bit. Okay, sort of like that. So now we're gonna just take the brush that had my concealer on it and I'm just going to outline the brows a bit. Remember, working in small sections is kind of key when it comes to doing stuff like your eyebrow and like your eyeshadow. Working in small sections will basically make sure everything is nice and precise and if you make a mistake, it will be a big one. Out of everything, I think this is the longest process for me, like 8 minutes in this video and I'm still doing my brow. Okay, now that we have everything, I'm just going to go in to my beauty blender and just blend everything out just to make sure if I deposited too much product to one area, it'll get blended out. Okay, now I'm just going to go in to my MAC Studio Fix powder. This is my pressed powder. It's in the shade NC46. I'm just going to basically set that primer potion in place. This is key because it just gives us a nice, blank, smooth, you know, one colored canvas for us to work on. And then I find that my eyeshadow peeks through even more vibrantly when I have this on because I remember the old days where I never used to do this and those shades would barely show up in my eyes. Thankfully, I do this now. So I'm just going to go in to my Morphe James Charles palette and I'm just going to take my 
color switch and just switch around my brush while I decide what color I should be going into. I totally lost the swatch names for this palette, so I'm just going to look it up. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Boutique, which is this beautiful, like, purpley red brown color. My camera has been playing me. Hopefully this turns out okay. I have not been having the best day, but we'll continue. We'll, you know, try to continue this makeup tutorial. Anyways, I'm going to go into the shade Rusted, and this is like a nice orangey peachy shade, and I'm just going to try to like blend out the crease a little bit with this color. It's a nice, like, it's beautiful. Guys. It's so beautiful. You guys can like, I don't know if you guys can tell like the difference from this eye to this eye, but it's it's so beautiful. Essentially, we're trying to create like our unique crease because I feel like the shade that I'm trying to create isn't in any of the palettes. I'm just trying to mix and see where these shadows are gonna take me. So now that that is done, by the way, if you guys did not see me put on the crease shade, just know that I put on the shade Boutique my eyes the camera has been playing me and it's just very frustrating anyways i'm gonna try to do the outer v i'm gonna take this morphe brush and go into the shade no beans and this is like a nice chocolatey color so i'm just gonna pick that up with my morphe brush and just pack that in the crease Remember, working in small sections is best because you don't want to make a mistake. Just place that where you want it and then we're going to blend it out later. I'm going to take this Real Technique base shadow brush and just basically blend it out. I'm going to add something a little darker in my outer V and that will be the shade Berry. Just to darken everything a little bit more. Okay, now that that's done, we're ready. Well, not really ready, but we're ready to open the packaging to this. I remember being very hard, but let's see. Hopefully I don't break a nail. Still trying. Finally, okay. So we're just gonna set that aside and I'm going to take my Too Faced glitter glue. I'm almost out of this stuff. Like this, this stuff is pretty strong. It's pretty hefty. It'll get the job done. I also got that at IMATS. I didn't know what it was at first. I was just too excited when I got there and I'm thankful that I got it because I think it was like 40% off. So I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes. Okay, now that I think that I got that done. By the way, guys, I turned on my air conditioning. So I'm just gonna have to talk a little bit more louder because it's kind of loud. Uh, I don't know if you guys hear in the background, but I did that because my camera keeps overheating and it was just frustrating me, so I had to do that. I'm sorry for that because I, I just wanna like get through this video. I wanna have some content out for you guys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let anything stop me. So now I'm going to just go into this LA Splash Diamond Dust in the shade Cassell. I think that's what it's called. Ooh, this is, okay. This has like the gold flecks inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I am in love with this color so far, like in the corner. I'm just trying to get that out. But I'm just going to basically put that all over my eyes with my elf eyeshadow brush this one the flat brush i will take this brush over any morphe brush any day because it's so fluffy it's amazing i don't know if i got a bad batch when i got those um morphe brushes but i love this one so much more so i'm just going to tap into the glitter and i'm just going to put that on my eyes Okay guys, that took a while for packing it on the lid, but, 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 like I wanted to work slowly on it because I just wanted to make sure they both are equal on both eyes. And I'm, like, I'm in love with this glitter. Like, I need more. Like, I definitely need more. It was pretty inexpensive at IMAX, but I'm not sure how much they go for online. If you guys are interested, I'll definitely link them down below. I feel like being extra today, so I'm gonna go on to my Kat Von D tattoo liner. Hopefully this comes out okay because 
I'm not having like a good tutorial experience so far, so just a tote. Okay, it could be fixed with concealer. I'm not panicking just yet. I'm not in love with how they look, but it'll have to do for now. So I'm just gonna go into this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blur Skin Tint with sunscreen. It says SPF 25. I'm in the shade 10. They have 12 shades or 13 shades, I believe, but their shade selection is kind of okay. I wish they had darker shades because like I feel like they had so many light shades and then like three darker shades, but I'm not complaining. And I'm just going to take some of that at the back of my hand. It's like my skin palette and I'm just going to rub that on my face. So basically this foundation or skin tint is light coverage but it can go up to full coverage you just have to use it with your discretion how much you want on your face so basically the amount that i just showed you just covered this part of my face and i'm going in with more i mainly bought this because i'm going on a vacation in like three weeks and i just want something pretty cool light and it was on sale at sephora i think it was like 18 dollars which is a steal when it comes to stuff like makeup forever because you guys know how pricey it can be so i picked that up and this is my second time trying it um, uh, the first time I had no complaints about it. I really do like it. I like that it's very buildable and I also like that it's like a kind of like a hybrid foundation where it can be a very light coverage or it can be full coverage foundation. You don't see that a lot with other foundations. They usually start off with like a medium coverage but I'm not mad at this one. So right now I'm definitely like a medium coverage. I can add more but I don't think I will. I'm just gonna pat this in the face. Yeah, you can still see like my beauty marks through the foundation. So it's kind of like a medium coverage at the moment. And now I'm just going to go into concealer. I'm going to go into my darker concealer first which is Dulce de Leche. And I'm just going to basically try to conceal my dark under eyes first before trying to highlight the face that's why i go into a darker concealer first and just blend that out it definitely makes a difference like those of you who use a light concealer and have that like gray tint under your eyes you guys probably need to go go in with like a color corrector first or a concealer that's your shade and then go into your highlighting concealer so i'm just going to highlight the face and basically take this and try to take away some of that eyeliner because we don't need all of that that's my trick to basically having an even wing and now carefully blend it out i'm just going to start with the places i put the product on first because it does dry pretty quickly let's just go into our powder now we are going to basically set our face since this is an extra makeup tutorial where i'm doing everything and everything inside of it i'm just going to set the entire face because we don't want to presage we just want our face to you know last all day long so now i'm going to just dust it off well at least the sides like the sides of my cheeks and i'm going to go into my contour now i'm going to be using you know guys know you guys know i don't tell you you guys know this like um this is my fenty beauty skin stick match whatever i think that's what it's called it's in the shade espresso i'm not sure if this is the darkest shade but just going to carve my cheekbones out with that and i'm just going to go into this elf angled brush and just blend it out Now that that is done, I'm just going to go into the shade Suede. I got these in a set with a highlighter, well, a stick highlighter, um, and a concealer, and a contour shade. But I don't really use this one as much. Honestly, I wouldn't know how to attempt using it because I don't want to take my foundation off. 
while trying to apply that so I don't normally tend to gravitate towards that I have no idea if that's even but we'll roll with it I'm just going to go back into my foundation brush and just blend that out and if you guys think that it's a harsh line on my face just wait so now I'm just going to go into my Fenty Beauty bronzer this is the Sun Stalker Instant Warm Bronzer in the shade Coconati and I'm just going to go over that contour with that just to warm up the face not a little bit but a lot Make sure you blend, 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 blend. Like her stuff blends like a dream. Honestly, I'm in love. I'm just going to go into my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm just going to take this banana shade right here and just put that under my contour. It just makes such a difference. This bake has been on for too long, so I'm just going to brush this off. I'm just going to go on to blush today because I feel like being extra as I mentioned earlier on. I'm just gonna take this Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Red Vino. I'm just gonna lightly dust that on my cheeks. A little product really goes a long way. I honestly like this blush a lot out of like other blushes because it gives me a nice Sheen. Now we're gonna go in to highlight and I'm again gonna be very extra. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder in the shade. All glown up. It's a very ready brownie type of highlight and I'm just gonna put that all over my skin. Like you guys know my places and do you see that? I feel like I look like a tin man but it's Head of looking like the Tin Man, we're just gonna go back in to our complexion sponge to just again push everything into the skin. Now, I felt again like being extra today, I know I continue to say that, but it's true. So, I think I'm gonna put on false lashes. Let me see if I can find lash glue. I know I have lash glue in here somewhere, I found it. This is the duo brush on adhesive, I think this is the clear one. I don't really like the black one because the black one can be very messy, so I'm just going to get my lashes these are our lower lashes i forgot where i got them from but they look like this and i'm just going to carefully take them off i like this packaging better than the ardell packaging because it's so much better to take these lashes off especially if you have nails so i'm just going to put the duo lash glue on it just wait till it becomes very tacky so i'm just gonna put this on hopefully i don't struggle Cute, cute, cute. Now that the glue is a tiny bit tacky, we're just going to put this on in a downwards motion. Try to connect everything. Literally, this eyelash is not trying to stick. <sighs> okay, this looks weird. Like, anyways, now it's time for us to do lipstick out of everything. That is something I don't have laid out right in front of me. All right, I'm gonna go on to two of my faves. This is the Kylie Jenner lip liner in the shade Love Bite and the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip good lipstick in the shade Veronica. I feel like these two together would go perfectly. So I'm just going to align my lips with this. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. I like how natural this lip liner looks on me and I'm just going to put this one over it. They're kind of the same. And now it is time for setting spray. You guys know the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray is my way to go. Um, and we're just gonna spray our face and the look is complete. I think I covered everything in this makeup tutorial from blush, which I don't use to false eyelashes which I don't use to like glitter which I sometimes use but not all the time to like eyebrow pomade like I really like try to incorporate everything that a beauty guru would incorporate in their video and I love how this look turned out thank you guys all for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already you guys can see more looks like these more hauls I'm literally planning so many videos to film for you guys and yeah guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye